Engine running rough? Check engine light won't go off? Today I'll show you the easy, safe ways to reset your car's ECU, without expensive tools or a mechanic. I'll show two methods, a simple battery disconnect and a cleaner method using an OBD2 scanner. Stick around, I'll also cover safety notes and what to do after the reset so your car runs smooth again. ECU stands for Engine Control Unit. It's basically the car's computer. It stores learned settings, fuel trim, idle, etc., and diagnostic trouble codes. Here's what you'll need. A basic socket wrench set for battery terminals, safety gloves and goggles, and optionally, an OBD2 scanner or Bluetooth adapter and phone app. Always work with the engine off, parking brake on, and if your car has security settings or aftermarket alarm, know your radio and code. Some cars require radio codes after battery disconnect. Now I'm talk method one, battery disconnect. This is the quickest method and works on most cars. It clears the ECU's volatile memory so the computer starts fresh. One, turn off car, remove keys, disconnect any devices. Two, put on gloves and goggles. Disconnect the negative terminal first, usually black, marked. Use a wrench, loosen the clamp and remove it. Tuck the cable away so it doesn't touch the terminal. Negative first, reconnect last. That prevents shorts. And wait 15, 30 minutes. Reconnect the negative terminal snugly, then positive if you removed it. Tighten clamps. Start the car. After reconnecting, the car may idle rough for a minute or two while the ECU relearns. Drive gently for 10-20 minutes to help the system relearn fuel trims and idle. Some cars need radio or immobilizer codes after a battery disconnect. Check your manual. If the check engine light stays on after driving, do not ignore it. Read codes with a scanner. Now method two, use OBD2 scanner. If you have an OBD2 scanner or a Bluetooth OBD2 adapter and phone app, you can read and clear codes properly. This is cleaner because you can see what error codes are stored before you clear them. And some faults need fixing, not just clearing. One, plug the OBD2 connector into the port, usually under the dash near the steering column. Two, turn ignition to on, engine off, or follow scanner instructions. Three, read stored fault codes and freeze frame data. Save a screenshot or write down codes. Important, if you clear codes without fixing the root cause, they'll likely again come back. Four. Use the scanner's clear codes or erase DTCs function. Confirm. And five, start car and follow the same gentle drive cycle to let the ECU relearn. Using a scanner also lets you clear learned fuel trims and reset adaptations on some vehicles. Check your scanner's features. If your car won't start after reconnecting battery, check battery charge, terminal tightness, and fuses. If a radio or HVSC lost settings, those are normal. If the immobilizer prevents start, you may need the factory procedure or dealer help. Advanced users. Some vehicles require a specific ECU relearn procedure, throttle relearn, idle relearn, that your service manual or scanner will show. Some performance ECUs have a physical reset button or software command. Reference your ECU manual. If this helped, hit like and subscribe. I post practical car DIYs every week. Drop your car make and model in the comments if you want a model specific walkthrough and I'll make a video. Drive safely, see you next time.